Hello, welcome back. My name is Yanja and I'm a memory champion, but you probably already knew that if you're subscribed. So if you're not, please subscribe and help me make more of these videos and pay my bills. So today I want to talk about how to memorize word for a word. This is something you guys have been asking me ever since I memorized that Steve Harvey book on his show, as well as when I memorized the IKEA catalog in one week. Now for those two instances, I was trying out different techniques and used kind of a mixture of those, but there is one efficient technique that I would really strongly suggest for memorizing things word for word. I found this technique initially in some weird obscure memory book and also I've seen it floating around in different memory forms but most impressively I think has been a summary on Nelson Dallas fellow memory champions channel and he in turn got it from actress Lauren Tothero. So this is not a new technique. I didn't come up with this but I think it's very helpful. And the first step is to read it over a couple of times. I chose this medical speech because so many of you seem to be studying medicine and it seems to be pretty hard to get down. So we <laughs> Jesus, this is really hard. We did a phase one, two, single blind randomized control trial in five trial sites in the UK of a chimpanzee adenovirus vectored vaccine Chadox1 and COV19, expressing their SARS-CoV-2 spike protein compared with a meningococcal conjugate vaccine Menaqui as control. Okay, so this is pretty hard. I'm gonna read it over a couple of times as per step one. We did a phase one, two, single blind randomized control trial in five trials. So I've read it over a couple of times. And now the second step is to write down the first letter of each word and include the punctuation and the capitalization in the text that you are memorizing. So now I'm gonna try to do this just from this, but I'm gonna look at the original text if I get lost. We did a, don't know. Two very boring minutes later. The fourth and final step is to try to do it from memory. We did a phase one, two, single blind randomized trial in five trial sites in the UK of a chimpanzee vectored vaccine, Chadox1 and COV19, expressing the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein compared with a meningococcal conjugate vaccine, Menaqui, as control. I think that was it. And then it continues, healthy adults. So that's super cool. That took me like a couple of minutes to memorize a really complicated sentence. So if you have a simpler speech, it's probably really helpful. Again, to reiterate, step one, read it over a couple of times. Step two, write down the first letter of each word, including capitalization and punctuation. And then the third step is to read it from what you just wrote down. And the fourth step is to try to read it from memory. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I've been doing a lot of acting classes. And for me, the one of the hardest things was noticing when my scene part partners didn't say their lines word for word because I love directors and I love screenwriters who are very word perfect and I love being word perfect as well in certain cases like acting. So I have chosen a scene that they did a little bit differently in the scene but I'm going to memorize it as it was in the original script. Scene. Well sir, in the Harvard Student Handbook which is distributed to each freshman under the heading standards of conduct in the Harvard community says the college expects all students to be honest and forthcoming in their dealings with members in this community. Students are required to respect public and private ownership and instances of theft, misappropriation, and or, or unauthorized use will result in disciplinary action, including the requirement to withdraw from the college. You memorize that instead of doing what? I'm going to read it over a couple of times. Well, sir, in the Harvard Student Handbook, which okay, it actually says that's what is says in the handbook, but whatever. I want to keep the line breaks as well. This is what it looks like in the third step. In the Harvard Student Handbook. A little longer than a few minutes later. Well, sir, in the Harvard Student Handbook, which is distributed to each freshman under the heading Standards of Conduct in the Harvard Community and the subheading Honesty, it says, the college expects that all students will be honest and forthcoming in their dealings with members of this community. All students are required to respect private and public ownership. Instances of theft, misappropriation, or unauthorized use of or damage to property will result in disciplinary action, including the requirement to withdraw from the college. That's what it says in the handbook. So, uh, that is really, really cool. Yeah, that is really, really cool. Also, final note, if you want more of these techniques, I am selling my memory chorus. Until Sunday, you can buy it at 90% off and then it's done. Never again this cheap. So a lot of you have been enjoying it. I've been getting a lot of good feedback about the memory chorus and I hope that you get it and I hope you like and subscribe and I hope you have a memorable rest of your day. Bye.